Hi, I'm Shulja, an experienced designer at Red Experience Design. With the advent of voice recognition technologies like those from Google, Amazon, and our partners at Slang Labs, more and more companies are including voice interface in their apps. But while the technology is becoming easier to work with, there are still many hurdles from the perspective of UX design. That's why we thought of making this video to discuss the best practice to integrate voice user interface with graphical user interface. So let us begin by understanding the role of voice user interface. They are simple to use. Almost everyone can use them. They have the potential to combine multiple steps that a typical GUI interface needs to have. And with localization, they have the power to reach many more millions of users who find the existing touch-based GUI interfaces difficult to understand and use. But many kind of interface have been built for machines in the past. You have everything, right from switches, buttons, pens, screen-based interface on your smartphones. Every time some new interface was created by someone, there has been tendency to portray it as a killer interface that will replace all the interfaces. But the fact is that, that knobs, switches, handles, everything exists today. The reason for this is simple. Each interface has some specific advantages over other. For example, the light switch is cheap. It is always physically available with the user. And it's simply to operate and perfect for electrical wiring system. Whereas it's a far more efficient use of space to have a touch-based screen than to have a screen and a keyboard on the side. Until brain machine interface like the one that Neuralink is working on becoming mainstream, all the other interface including voice-based ones can only be the part of collection of interface that will be used by humans. Therefore, there is a need to integrate it into the existing interface and not replace anything. So the principle of design needs to be that of coexistence and not of replacement. Secondly, we are talking about integrating voice-based interface into the existing applications by using the technologies like Dialogflow and Slang. This is not at all similar to creating a skill for Google and Alexa and linking to the existing apps. While designing interfaces for voice UI, the following needs to be considered. Indicate that the interface is voice enabled. Indicate to the user what is voice enabled and the kinds of commands that can be issued. Let the user know that their privacy is protected. Provide confirmation and feedback for actions performed. Provide ways to recover from a mistaken action. Provide a way for power users to understand how to harness the power of voice. Design for voice-only workflows. Since it's best to use examples while discussing complex topics like this, we are going to use interface of one of our clients, Lenscart. Lenscart is an e-commerce store where they sell prescription and non-prescription glasses through their website and app. For this video, we are going to focus on mobile app. So you will see from the interface that we have included an activation button that has been designed in a way so that you can tap on it and say something. There are similar looking icons placed on the other elements in the interface that indicate that these other elements are also voice enabled. When one taps on the activation button, it gets enabled and it starts listening from the instructions from the user. We kept away from using key activation words because it has its own learning curve. You will also notice that there is a line around the button which keeps on reducing and it goes down completely. The button gets disabled. This mechanism does two things. One, it allows the user to give continuous commands without activating the voice interface each and every time. Two, it tells the user that the interface isn't always going to be listening and thus respects the user's privacy. Sliding the activation button, it immediately stops the system from listening further. Now when the user issues a command something like show me sunglasses, the application has been designed in a way that it takes directly to the screen with sunglasses. Show me eyeglasses. No, I meant sunglasses. If the voice processing engine isn't very sure about the guess it has made about having heard sunglasses, we can indicate the same to the user and get clarity on the next screen if we really meant to do that or not. This allows the user to recover from the error state by simply clicking on the undo button or giving a new command saying no, I meant sunglasses. User may intuitively begin to use the features of the app, but in the initial period when a person doesn't really know how it works, providing them with the understanding of what's possible may be required. What we did to enable this is to give an information icon right next to activation button. Tapping on this will give you a sheet of commands which a user can give it to the application. This sheet could also be presented when the user says things like what can I say or what can you do which are equivalent commands on Google Assistant and Siri. Voice only workflows are powerful new user journeys that come up when working with voice. You don't need to work sequentially through all the screens because multiple steps can be combined. 
In this example, the user can ask for the checkout and the cart page will appear. Later, the user can select the payment option and the delivery address. However, with voice, these two steps can be combined easily with a simple command saying check out using card number 1139 and deliver it to my home. On issuing this command, the user will be directed to the confirmation page where his card and address will be chosen. All he needs to do is to hit the proceed button. This is an extremely powerful new capability that is offered through voice interface and requires UX designer to think differently when designing. So that's a quick look at how to design for the voice based interface. One should just keep in mind not to take all or nothing approach but rather go for a mixed interface. Getting started is surprisingly simple but employing voice interface and exploiting their full powers requires a quite a bit of thoughts. There's a lot more that we haven't covered in this video but please do let us know if there are any aspects that you would like us to cover in the comments below and we would plan our next video. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Shelja from Red Experience Design and I hope to catch you in future videos soon. Cheers!